Hi, welcome to Skies Burn Electric. I'm Kevin, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Elcom keystones today. First, for our parts, a 1 16th Allen wrench, a 3 32nd Allen, a 5 32nd Allen, and a 3 16th Allen. Now, for my particular setup, I got Elcom parts with a USB keystone BA adapter, a Cat 5E shielded RJ45 keystone coupler about six feet of black USB A to B cable and five feet of red cap 5E cable. Not shown are some dust caps that I also picked up and some expandable braided sleeving. So first off with my work area I have a steady working surface with uh, some cardboard down um, showing that I use the 532nd Allen wrenches to remove this front cover. I also have both axes locked on the Mighty um, just so nothing moves on me while I'm opening up these covers. So this front access cover is going to allow you to um, route the internal cabling um, a lot easier. So what I'm trying to do here in the back, you can see where I was using through the mount uh, cabling um, I had about five feet of cable that always was hanging out the back. I wanted to make that stop. So I'm going to remove this back cover using a 332nd Allen. I'm going to use the grommet that's part of the back cover plate. Um, I'm going ahead and remove that now, just make it easier for me to slide out the cabling I already had installed. I'm going to remove the Versa plate using a 316th Allen. Make sure you have a firm grasp of the mount just so you don't knock it over. It's not the most stable in this particular condition. You don't have it secured uh, to a tripod. It's also why I'd recommend doing this with your altitude adjusted to zero and the lock knobs lock. Again, so just things aren't moving on you unexpectedly. And when you lay this mount on its side, uh, take care that the, the cables that are connected to the bottom of the Versa plate don't get um, pinched. So now I'm using that 1 16th Allen to go ahead and tighten up these Elcom Keystone covers. Uh, just take an opportunity to do it. You can remove these if you want to um, and install them in the face plates themselves and then put that in. But um, one of the Keystones actually um, would not fit through this opening so I left them installed so I can do it in the back. So now on the Keystones there's a small notch on the bottom. Uh, you rest that in the about a 45 degree angle and it just slides up and locks into place. There's a lock tab on the top part of it. Uh, this is my first time using these keystones and I was really impressed actually. They went in very snugly, very secure. Uh, it's a firm fit. This isn't going to come undone accidentally on you. And um, on this particular uh, coupler, uh, it's plastic instead of uh, metal. I actually preferred the plastic ones. It just um, wasn't as springy as in the Cat5 coupler, um, but both were really high quality and both went in very secure. So now I'm going to use that one quarter um, PET braided cabling. Um, it's made out of nylon. You first look at it and you're like, there's no way this is going to thread in. Trust me, it will. And then you can see I'm just kind of um, making it, when I push it on, it's making it expand at the end. Uh, it made it a lot easier to slide over and just braid that on. So now the, the connectors that I got, you just plug into the back. They do make couplers where you can um, wire them yourselves, but uh, I'm all about convenience. Uh, and this was this was too easy. I just wanted to make sure that you leave yourself enough room inside the mount where the cables are. 
uh, so that when you do insert that, that you're allowing the room for uh, the additional intrusion from the couplers that we've just added. There are quite a few cables that are already running through the inside of the mount um, up for the, the motors and the connections to the VersaPlate. Uh, but again, with when you have these covers open on each side, just make sure that you spend some time and pay attention to how you're going to route it and uh, make sure you're giving yourself plenty of room because when the mount does rotate, they will rub against each other. That's another reason why I wanted to use this nylon braided uh, sleeving. It really reduces drag and friction inside the mount and um, just checking to make sure everything's not um, snagging on anything inside the mount. And then I'm going to make a loop to my satisfaction. You can see here in the end everything came together really well and uh, I don't have cables hanging off the back. So I hope this helped and thanks for watching.